Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. The first thing I've got to say is thank you very much to those that have subscribed to my channel. I've just reached over a thousand subscribers and when I first started doing these videos in my dark room, I didn't think I'd get over 20 um, and that was probably family. So thanks very much for your, um, your kind interest in, in, in the stuff that I'm doing. If my videos are helping people, that's fantastic. It's, I know they certainly do help me because making these videos, I've got to make sure that they're, they're as good as I can make them and uh, if people are inspired by them, are learning by them and are shooting film and you know it's, uh, it's helping them, then my channel's doing its job and I'm happy, like I've said before. Uh, in the background, my daughter's an artist, so I promised that I'd stick one of her recent portraits up. This guy's a YouTube star. I don't quite know who he is, but um, maybe some other people out there might recognize him. I don't, I thought it was Jurgen Klopp, the Liverpool manager, but it's not. Anyway, um, on with uh, this video. I was in a Photoshop the other day looking for some film. I was just about to grab hold of some HP5 to, to make a, a video that I was planning, and I see some XP2. And I hadn't seen it in the shop before, and I thought, wow, do you know, I'm gonna go and try it out. So I bought this XP2, and that's what this video is gonna be about, is me shooting this XP2, Ilford XP2 film. It's a 400 speed film, it's a C41 color process, if you like, and I think, from what I've read, the Ilford, design this for people to be able to shoot black and white and then send it off to their local high street lab, get their pictures back within an hour and it was relatively cheap or cheaper than HP5 or FP4 black and white films, Codec Tri-X or whatever. So um, I thought I'd uh, go out and shoot this, come back and develop it in the normal way using, I'm using the massive dev chart for the development process. Uh, for the times and um, yeah, just thought I'd go and give it a whirl. So I'm gonna take my chin on CS camera. Now I've stuck a flash on the top, I've just set it at a quarter of a power, so I'm just gonna go around the streets like it's a point and shoot camera with the 50 mil sitting on there and uh, see how this XP2 performs. I'm gonna come back, develop it in the normal way from the massive, massive dev chart, it says um, 18 minutes with uh, rod null at um, uh, one part rod null to 25 parts water. So we'll see how the developing goes. But this is the camera that I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna get off down to the beach. Uh, my plan is to go around the pier and under the pier. I haven't even checked the tide, so hopefully the tide's not in, otherwise I'm gonna get wet. But uh, anyway, so that's the plan. Come back, develop the film, go in the dark room and see if we can make any decent prints. So uh, yeah, get the bags packed and I'll see you down the beach. Okay, so I'm down here and this is Sandown Pier. I'm underneath the pier, as you can see, and I reckon I'll be able to get some really cool shots down here. There's the chin on in my hand, the XP2 is loaded inside like I showed you, and I've got the flash on the top. So the flash is just gonna help me, it's just gonna just lighten some of the scene up. It's what I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking for this instant camera look, you know? So uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, hello dog, I'm on my camera. Don't piss on my tripod. Oh, that's my hat, yeah. I threw it off, it was getting on my nerves. I don't know if you can see me, but this could be quite interesting. This is the, uh, the roof. Oh, these pipes look interesting now. They're dripping down on me. I only hope that it's not toilet waste and it's rainwater. Oh, I've just got it on my camera. See, I'm quickly getting a shot. Hopefully, it won't go on my lens. Oh, please don't be pissed. Okay, so I'm out from underneath the pier now. And uh, I was a bit worried about those pipes dripping on me. Like I said, I didn't know if that was what, human waste or, 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 or rainwater. But um, never mind. I love the benches. I just found this bench. There's two little scarves sitting on here. And as much as this shoot's becoming boring, I'm going to take the photograph and see how it looks. I've got this little corner here that I found, um, some building works going on down the beach. We've got some bits and bobs, so I'm just gonna shoot around here and waste a few more frames. Just keep looking back in the camera, make sure that don't go missing. Quite interested, Volkswagen camper. Let's get a shot of that. So, so far I've shot 
about 20 frames and uh, let's get his health now. So far I've shot about 20 frames and I'm a little getting a little bit bored to be honest with you down there, there's not much going on. So uh, I'm gonna use the rest of the frames in the local farm, see what animals we can get. Yeah, some cows and some sheep or whatever. And uh, I don't know, hopefully the farmer might be helping a cow give birth if we're lucky. Let's see what we get. So this is the lucky fella here, this one. This is the bull with all the curls on his head. And his job is to get involved with all these cows and make baby cows. See if we can get a shot of this bull. Oh, lucky. <laughs> Look at these two fighting. Oh. So a little bit away from the cows. Look at this, I found this whole fire truck. This would be interesting. This, uh, I could shoot off quite a few photographs here because I'm getting bored of the cows as well now. So this could make quite an interesting photograph. It's really old tractor amongst all these hay bales. Um, but I don't think I've only got my 50mm lens, so I'm going to have to go right back there and get some distance and get all this in and see how it looks. So I'm nearly done. I've got a couple of shots left in here and uh, this old water can, watering can on this brick wall looks pretty interesting. So I'm going to take this last shot, get back, burst the last couple of frames somewhere else, get developing, see what we've got. There's one more thing that's just caught my eye before I leave this, this old barn door. It looks completely wrecked, make a good photograph. Last thing to do is a selfie. So I'm back home again now, and as you can see, I'm in my front room uh, because my wife's gone out, which means I can watch the football and I can develop my film at the same time, which is fantastic. So, um, and she doesn't watch my YouTube channel, so she's not gonna know. I've got the uh, roll of XP2 sitting inside here, still I need to rewind this back. Once I have, I'm then gonna go into a dark room and put the film onto the uh, spool here, put it inside the developing tank, get my chemicals and start developing. Now I'm gonna be developing this in Rodnoll and I'm just gonna be doing a normal development. I've looked at the massive dev chart and it says to do 18 minutes at uh, one part Rodnoll to 25 parts water. So that's what I'm going to do. There it goes. And there it is. So all I've got to do is get it onto the spool, put it inside the developing tank, get some chemicals in the front room. Hopefully I won't spill it all over the carpet. And watch the football and enjoy seeing my photographs come out. I'll see you in a little while. Okay, so I've developed the necks and the first thing I notice is that they are kind of got this magenta purple looking colour, um, which I'm sure it's all part of being a C41 film maybe. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but um, yeah, pretty purple as you can see. But the photographs look okay, so let's do a, some of them look a bit overexposed, but uh, let's do a contact sheet and see what we've got. Uh, so hopefully you're catching this now. So I've got, I've picked out three photographs, the cows, and I've got two from that fire truck that looks quite nice. Now looking at this contact sheet, the blacks look really black. I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised at how well the contact sheet's come out, to be honest with you, um, bearing in mind it's a C41 film, and I've just developed it in, in Rodnoll and printed it in black and white chems. So you can see these were well underexposed. I could still probably bring these out on the print, but I'm not gonna bother. Um, but yeah, these were the first ones under the pier. Uh, you can see there's the toilet pipes. I hope they wasn't, but I think they were. Uh, this was the bench, totally overexposed. The souvenir shop, the stairs, uh, that was just a white piece of card that I took a photograph of, whatever it was. There's the stairs, yeah, just th this is the flash. I must have had it on high power. So let's get this strip of negatives out. This is definitely the best strip for me. One, two, three, I've got three decent prints there. 
I just want to see how this XP2 looks. These look like the three best photos. Let's go for it. So from buying this roll of XP2, yeah, I literally rushed out the door and, and, and just shot whatever was in front of me. That's not normal, my normal way of photography, but I just wanted to burst off this 36 roll of XP2 and see what I could come up with. And uh, like I said at the start of the video, I wasn't too bothered if I had overexposed or underexposed, as long as I had a few shots that I could work with and uh, see, what, see what it looked like. And these are the three photographs that I, that I, that I printed. And I was quite impressed. Would I buy XP2 again? Probably. I probably would, because looking at these prints, they, they've certainly got a different look than, than a regular um, HP5 or, or Tri-X400 or FP4. They've, they've got a different feel to them. It's, uh, I can't quite put my finger on it yet. I'll have to go out and do a few more rolls to really see. So when I found that XP2 in the shop, I thought I'll, I'll go and try it out. I'll go and shoot it and see what happens. And, uh, you know, I'm glad I did. It's not really an in-depth review of FP2 or any techni technical review whatsoever. It's just me playing with a roll of film and putting my experiences down on video for other people to see. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Please like it and subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.